Hello again. In this lesson, we are going to learn about articles. Articles are small words that are often used in front of nouns. There are just three articles, a and the. But it is very important to know how to use them and when to use them in a sentence. Let's start with a. A is used when we are referring to one object or a singular noun. And it is the first time we are talking about it. For example, Lila bought a new red dress last week. Dress is a singular noun. And it's the first time we hear about Lila's dress, so we use a before the word dress. Rahim is a good footballer. Again, the word footballer is a singular noun, so we use a before the noun. Let's try another sentence. A thief snatched the lady's handbag. There is only one thief, a singular noun, and it's the first time we hear about the thief. So, we use a before the word thief. In the sentences just now, the nouns were a dress, a footballer, a thief. All these are countable nouns. Remember, the article a can only be used for singular, countable nouns. But there is another rule that we need to follow when using the article a. A cannot be used for singular nouns that start with a vowel or have the vowel sound. Vowels? You know what vowels are, don't you? They are A, E, I, O and U. When a singular noun starts with a vowel, we don't use a in front, but we use an instead. For example, we say an apple, an elephant, an Indian, an office, an umbrella. As you can see, all these singular nouns begin with a vowel, so we use an before the noun. Let's look at some of the sentences with the article an. Julie says it is always good to carry an umbrella in case it rains. Camila has an aunt who plays the piano very well. Hafiz keeps an owl as a pet. We have now learnt when to use the article a and an. But there are some countable nouns that don't begin with a vowel, but we must use an before them, not a. Let's take the word hour, which stands for time. Although hour starts with h, but when we pronounce the word, the h is silent. We pronounce it as if it begins with the second letter, the vowel O, our. So we use an in front, an hour. This means that if a noun does not start with a vowel, but it is pronounced with a vowel sound, then we must put an before the noun. It takes me an hour to get to school. In the same way, if a noun starts with a vowel but is not pronounced with a vowel sound, then we put a before the noun. For example, uniform. Although uniform starts with a vowel u, it is not pronounced with a vowel sound. So, we use a before it. If we made a sentence with uniform, it would be 
The cadets marched in a uniform manner. Here's another example. It is easier to get a job if you have a university degree. Let's now do an exercise by filling in the blanks with a or an. Zaleha's brother is artist. The word artist begins with the vowel A. So, we must use N in front. Zaleha's brother is an artist. Freddy lives in small town in Johor. The noun is town and it does not begin with a vowel. So, we must use a. Freddy lives in a small town in Johor. Pakmat, the shopkeeper, is honest person. Here you see the word honest. Although it starts with H, it is silent when we pronounce the word honest. Since the second letter is the vowel O, we put N before the word honest. Pak Mat, the shopkeeper, is an honest person. Now we are going to look at the last article, the. The is used when we already know the thing or the singular noun that we are talking about. For example, the house that Kelly lives in is haunted. We already know which house Kelly lives in. So, when we talk about the house, we use the. Here is a sentence where a and the are used for the same singular noun. Jeffrey bought a shirt last week, but he didn't know that the shirt had a stain on it. When we hear the shirt for the first time, we use a. So, Jeffrey bought a shirt. But the second time we hear the word shirt, we already know we are talking about Jeffrey's shirt. So, we use the before it. But he didn't know the shirt had a stain on it. This sentence is a good example of how we use a and the for the same singular noun. If you remember, for most words that don't begin with a vowel, we use a before them. And for most words that begin with a vowel, we use an before them. But take note, the can be used for both kinds of singular nouns. The book, the orange. You would have noticed that I pronounce the differently. Yes, if the is before a noun that doesn't start with a vowel, we say the. But if it is before a noun that starts with a vowel, we say the. So, we say the vegetable but the animal. Now let's do some exercises on articles. Try and answer each question by filling in the blanks with a, an or the. My mother is nurse. She works in hospital in city. My mother is a nurse. She works in a hospital in the city. Every day Suraya has banana and apple during recess. Every day Suraya has a banana and an apple during recess. 
unicorn is legendary animal a unicorn is a legendary animal It is good to use idiom when you write essay. It is good to use an idiom when you write an essay. Have you seen latest model of Proton Saga? Have you seen the latest model of the Proton Saga? Every weekend my dad buys us ice cream each. Every weekend my dad buys us an ice cream each. Last week my grandfather went to clinic to get x-ray. Last week my grandfather went to the clinic to get an x-ray That's all for this lesson. Bye.